In this start to finish video tutorial, I show you guys how I took this raw file and I turned it into something so much more. It's an image that gave me lots of challenges and I get to use a lot of different techniques to showcase what goes into my workflow. And hopefully you guys will be able to take away a lot of those tricks and implement them into yours. Hey guys, Joshua Snow here with a brand new tutorial. This time it's an image from Mount St. Helens. It's an image that I struggled with the first time around. Uh, this second time around reprocessing it during the tutorial, I ended up liking the image a whole lot more. Uh, I was there for two days, rarely saw the mountain. Uh, it would kind of sock in in the morning and stay socked in until the afternoon. You'd have a little bit of a gap and then it would sock in with clouds again. My hope was that I would get a little bit of inversion in the morning. I'd be able to see the crater, uh, the flowers in the foreground, but have the valley kind of completely filled with fog. It never happened. Uh, I went out on the second night, or the first night, found this composition, went back the second night, shot it again. Uh, I shot it a little bit before sunset because I didn't know how long the light was going to last. I knew that the clouds were going to sock in right at sunset, just like it did the night before. So I shot when I had the best light, the best conditions I, I knew I was going to have. I had a lot of dappled light in the valley and around the base of Mount St. Helens, which was really cool, I thought. Um, so in this video, I talk about a bunch of different techniques. We focus stack, uh, we cross process, we double process, we split tone. Uh, we do all kinds of dodging and burning stuff. So I hope you guys will really enjoy the video, uh, and I hope you guys end up liking the second version uh, more than the first one, just like I do, so I don't feel like I'm completely crazy. Um, but stay tuned and enjoy. <laughs> 